for all of us gathered here to create pathways of opportunities and to dismantle the barriers of inequality that still persist in our society. For seven years now, the Erudite Women's Empowerment Foundation has collaborated with other like-minded individuals and organizations to implement informed services that have impacted the lives of over 5,000 girls and young women in Asantiachi. Our key areas of focus are adolescent girls' sexual and reproductive health, specifically menstrual hygiene management, girls and young women's leadership and inclusion in leadership and decision making processes, and mentorship as well as economic empowerment. Today, we join hands with all of you gathered here to reaffirm our commitment to empowering girls to reach their full potentials. We commit to amplifying their voices, ensuring their safety, and supporting them with tools and resources they need to try. To my girls here today, you are the leaders and the change makers. You are not just the future, you are the present. The world is listening to you, and your voices are powerful beyond measure. Let no one, and I repeat, let no one dim your light. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mrs. Bominiwa Constant. All right. Let, moving on, we will invite um, the choreography team from Collins Mansa, Mansa, you are there dancing again, right? No, daddy. I have told you to stop that dancing. You are a girl. You need to be in the kitchen preparing food for us. We are preparing for the CBC Summer Manager and the Regional Church. Daddy, I food for you. Food for you. Okay, this is Yeah. There is going to be a dance audition for the best dancer at the community center. The first person to be awarded full scholarship to the University of Arts in London. Thank you. Go, go, go. Dear sisters, 
I believe you. And I believe in you. Just for the girls in the back. Dear daughters, I believe you. I do. And I believe in you. And I want to know if you believe in yourselves. Because if we're talking about a vision for your future, know this. I always believed in myself. I always believed in myself. Even when I was at church and I would go behind the church and I would put all these rocks in my purse and everybody would make fun of me. And so I encourage each and every one of you, you cannot achieve what you do not believe. And I don't care what anybody tells you. I don't care what anybody tells you. You can achieve anything you believe in. Now, what do you believe is a question. Do you believe that you are valuable? Do you believe that you are beautiful from the inside out? Do you believe that God's love lives inside you and radiates every time you smile? Yes. Ooh, whoever's saying yes like that, I believe her. Whoever that was going to say yes like that, I believe her. If you believe in yourself, I would like for you to stand up and face another girl. Is your sister in front of you? See her. Bear witness to who she is. Now, without any words, only your eye contact, the sister who is the tallest, I want you to tell her your story to the other one, only using your eye contact. Tell your story. You have 30 seconds. From when you were little, to when you were a girl, to right now. With no words. No words. I know it's hard. If you can hear my voice, say yes. Yes! All right, I have your attention. We will try again. That was good, but that was not great. We are going to be silent, not quiet. The tallest girl is going to silently use her eyes to communicate her life story. Ooh, they're doing it great on the side. You have 30 seconds. Tell her your story. No words, only truth. Why do you think I get to show that? Waiting be the matter. Waiting be the matter. Lean on me, oh. Lean on me, oh. Lean on me, oh, my friend. Lean on me. Lean on me. No need to hear. Lean on me. Lean on me.
for the girls from the various schools, these girls represented the youth. Beautiful. I'm so happy to meet you again. They are wonderful. Let's laugh for them. <laughs> yeah, so they taught us a very key lesson that girls can lead, right? So they gave us awesome ideas for today's program. So whatever you are seeing here, they are the masterminds behind everything. Thank you very much, ladies. Thank you very much for receiving your time. now completed JHS. Her father, wow. she had a good grade, like her father. I don't want to feather the girls' education. Ah, ah, ah. Hmm. By the way, I don't know. What do you want to become in the future? Hey! See, that's a nice job. That's a nice job. My sister, make your brain. At the same time, I'm going to go. Yes, you're here. Yeah, I'm going to go. I'm going to go. I'm going to go. Really? Yes. How do you go? Oh, that's nice. Very great. Okay, okay. I'm going to go. I'm going to go. I'm going to go. Primary, 
JHS. Senior high school, I didn't buy for any position for raising the best mom to me. Then I came to Abu Presbyterian Women's College of Education. And I was privileged to be the SRC president. <laughs> After that, I was posted to Nyan Plansi. Nyan Plansi, a Putuasi area, to teach. As a matter of fact, I felt sad. Because I was like, hey, me and you were a Plansi. My cousin was a Plansi, and I still be a Juma with Plansi. God, why? Little did I know that God had a bigger vision for me. Then I observed something about the girls. I realized that on certain occasions they wouldn't come to school. So I grew closer to some of them and they confided in me. Madam, it's the be in the here. In the right space to manage it. And see, the bus could be a thing that the boys would laugh at us. And see, the proofs are here now. We prefer stay home than to come to school and be not for menstruating. In fact, it really got to me because I remembered my days in Kofa. That's wow. I also grew up in a very remote community, and this was a challenge. I just can't mention them here. How I managed to manage my administration when I was like them. I couldn't tell anybody when I even had my first menstruation. And days that I learned how money to buy sanitary pad, I would find my way out. And I believe some of you can relate to this story. Yeah. So I decided to take it up. That I had some leadership experiences. Why don't I utilize that at this stage of my life? I believe in God. So I prayed about it and I started something in my school. I would occasionally gather them, invite the community health experts to come and talk to them on keeping themselves delivering that period. Then the length that I was taking from my salary, I would use a portion to get sanitary pads in the school so that those who come to school when they are saved, I would provide. And I had someone reporting me to my parents that I was using my salary to take care of people. My bed and neighbor for that Christmas. And I was just there. And you know, parents sometimes knowing that you know you are not privileged, you are not from an affluent home. So why would you give your money out to people? But I was just doing that. Now it's got to a point that I thought like, no, this thing is bigger than you know what? I need to open up. So I started sharing the stories of my girls on social media. That okay, this is an issue that I identified in school. I need help to help my girls and all that. I was literally begging for help so that I could also give to my girls. And gradually people were showing interest. Oh, we want to give you maybe three bottles of sanitary pads. Oh, how can I give you money to do this? And I was taking it. Then our first donation we had some benevolent investors for to us giving us a huge sum of money to implement one of our projects. So after that I told the team that why don't we register this organization so that we can seek for more opportunities for girls in marginalized communities. So I gathered a few like-minded people and we kept going. We kept going. So officially in 2017, Erudite Women's Empowerment Foundation became formalized. Right? And same thing, we have been working for girls, working with girls, and working to promote the development of girls in rural communities. That is why today we have the people to be a beneficiary of our services. So I don't take it lightly when I hear people talk about girls' leadership. If girls lead, so many things happen. If girls lead, we see a normal transformation in our society. So I urge you, as you are sitting here, to also think of something that you can do to better your community. And you never know where that thing will take you. It is through this organization that I've had the privilege to meet very amazing people. More than here, it's because of my wife, I had a platform to share during the event in Accra. And she got to connect with me. And that is why I also brought her to you because I got to know how amazing she is.
and she's here with you today. So we have a theme for on our She Leads project that I want us all to enjoy and listen to the message. This song was composed by Adina. She's our favorite, right? Yeah. So I know you will love this song. It says, She Leads, we gain. A girl who dreams is a woman with vision, right? The rest of the rest, I'll keep you in suspense. Enjoy the song. Thank you very much. Today we have Madam Martha Majua, a teacher in the school schools and colors. Sorry, I'm going to say hello to Mr. Adam Boyanko, a teacher from Collins Senior High School and a member from the She Leads Country Project. We have the third, who is the um, the girl who the first state college. Really, it's, I'm sorry, because I'm excited today. But I don't really have the opportunity to see her. <laughs> Thank you so much. And I believe so much is the girl, the capacity the girl has to do whatever she chooses or decides to do. So if you say leadership for me, I believe that leadership is about influencing, it's about guiding, it's about causing a change. And my aspiration, I aspire to be a medical doctor in the future. So I have to do the thing, focus on the top. So as men and as boys, it is our duty to support our wives, our nieces, our sisters, and our girlfriends to move up. And we have to do this by challenging stereotypes. We were talking about emotional challenges in girls, and I'm actually a visual student. Sometimes when I'm in my period, I easily get angry. So if a guy talks to me and like I reply angry, it becomes a misunderstanding between I and my friends and I end up not talking to some of them. So what happens now is how do I cope with my male friends in the class? Not that thing. Unfortunately, the boys don't understand. If they understood, it would have been easier. But they don't. And we try. But sometimes, unfortunately, before you even realize that you are causing trouble, you are already causing. Actually, let me admit to you that you are not feeling really anything else to not do. It's very normal. I remember there was a the time I slept with students. And I was like, what is wrong with you? That is when I realized that the time of the man isn't right. And so before I realize that person is normal, it is very normal. It happens. It is normal. But then, sometimes we fall short of ourselves. When you realize that you are getting angry unnecessarily, intentionality about it, and if it happens that you have sprayed uh, somebody or whatever, in a nice way, my child, I'm like, why? This can be a deal. When it happens, you just apologize. And then make sure that you don't make it a habit. Alright. Thank you so much. So this was the end of our discussion. Thank you so much for being with us and thank you so much, Tyler, for your time. <laughs> and words. It's truly appreciated. Wow. 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 Thank you so much Thank you very much. Our very awesome moderator and our very special panelists for inspiring us today, sharing the key I know you have a lot of questions, and after this program, we are here. So, you can approach any of them to ask the questions and we would like to support you. So, I come into you trying to see the facilities we have with us here. You know, from the beginning of the program, I've been saying a lot about the She Needs project. So, we are privileged this morning to have. Our funders, they have the money, so when they come, then you 
let them grow, right? That they should give you more money so that we can also support you. So our funding organization is the Defense for Children International Ghana. Children's Project is a pathless project. We are not the only organization implemented the project. So we have our funding organization, DCI Ghana, in our midst. And the representative from Ghana, right? DCI Ghana is an international organization. So DCI Ghana, we are having Madame Postina Franklin being the program manager. Well, she didn't have a look. She came with um, someone that worked all the way from Sierra Leone in the person of Mr. Julian Silva. This is our Sierra Leone. Thank you very much. We are grateful that you had the opportunity to join us for this wonderful celebration. They are also here for an exercise, a brief one. So please do our Shilin's project partners, the core partners, you know yourself. So the champions of change, our girls and young women. After this program, we are having a very brief session with them so that whatever message you have for us, we we'll take it and we'll respond to them accordingly. Thank you. I hope you did enjoy the panel session, right? Yes. And you've taken a lot of insightful messages from that, right? This one thing that will be happy to discuss. People will watch me and marry me. Young girls will write up to point their hands. This guy brings me dead, I will shine like that. That is me, and now you will be the one thing. Yes, I told them my story and I told them my thing. But the love is gone. <laughs> you think you can make it? Look at you. Where are you from? A poor black girl and you think you can source the high? Yes. If you run around with me and you made me just like the sun in the air, poor country. But I rose up to my feet and I told myself that it better want you to make it and I will make it. And if it's just like anyone who's making it, I will make it. I thought this was the best. I thought this was the best that I was but I was right. But why do I feel so green and I look back? My mama couldn't make it. My daddy couldn't make it. So now there's a mountain. Because even the world is impossible. When I push up his big cats in the middle, it says I am possible. So I can do it. And I am a girl who starts to do it was not because my parents had that much. It was not because my parents could give me everything that I wanted in life. No, but because I was tearing. I said to myself, if you know what in this world can do it, then I will be the first person to make history. And I encountered most young ladies, and more that I encountered, to the glory of God. Two students are in SDA qualification parents, females, who are also pursuing their tertiary education. So today I tell you, that whatever that you want to do, you can do it, if only you are determined. Thank you very much. To the sister, I say, Say it to you, Daniel. And then when you came, you will meet them. You will have a home, you will be there at home. 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 And you are so beautiful. You can't resist this. And you will always see you, I say, me, me. Forget about the money, about the gifts, the sweet words. You, when you try, you will be there at home. Try and miss what? You will receive it. We also thank guest speakers who came to speak and what it means to be girls. The um, panelists, media team, protocol team, and um, everyone gathered here, the, the performers. We also thank all of you. Thank all students, all my beautiful colleagues, students, for being here. Thank you so much. Thank you for sacrificing your time and everything. Thank you to everyone who has been here. Thank you.
The program was very nice to be specific. I'm Honorable Director for Berima, a president of Augusta State College. And today I've been motivated that women are very capable of doing things. And as a educated girl like me, I shouldn't let men be the man over my life. Yeah, women makes this world very better place to stand. And as for me, I want to be a lawyer in the future. And I and as I've been educated today, I know I can make it throughout. I know I'm capable and I can do this throughout.